So, hi children. So, in that previous video, we discussed about that synopsis from that la powers of exponents, right? Exponents and powers. Already I told you that exponents are powers. Okay. So, here by seeing the thumbnail, you have the one of the idea, right? Which topic we are discussing. So, that is uh, exponents and powers. So, in that previous video, we discussed about that synopsis. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about that worksheets. Okay. So, here worksheet 2A. That is... First problem from that worksheet 2a that is here a power 8 into 4 power b a power 8 into 4 power b which is equals to a power 8 into 4 power b which is equals to 2 power 8 into 4 cube. Okay this is one of the equation they given and here p power q is equals to 5 square p power q is equals to 5 square. Now we need to find the value of a power p into q power b by a power q into q power a. So before going to find the values of that one, just we have we have to write that what is the value of a, what is the value of p and what is the value of q, what is the value of b. First we have to write those. So when you compare these two expressions, here in this equation we have the two expressions now. So when you compare these two expressions, here you will get the values of a and b. Okay. So here just observe that this expression and this expression here a power 8 is equals to 2 power 8. So when you compare these two a power 8 is equals to 2 power 8 and here compare these two okay 4 power b is equals to 4 cube just comparing okay. So here while comparing these two here exponents are equal then we can say that its basis should be equal. So here a is equals to 2. Okay, exponents are equal now, so that's why here base a is equals to 2. And here from this one, as the bases are equal, then their exponents must be equal here. Okay, why? Because in between we kept that is equal to sign no, so that's why here from this one b is equals to 3. So, what is the value of b here? That is b is equals to 3. Now come to this one. Here p power q is equals to 5 square they are saying. So when you observe that RHS here, this is also in the form of p power q. Okay. So by observing these two, by comparing these two expressions, here from this one p is equals to 5 and q is equals to 2. P is equals to 5, Q is equals to 2. Now we have that all the four values know. Now which one we have to find out? Here this value we need to find. So what is that? A power P into Q power B whole by A power Q into Q power A. Okay, which is equals to here what is the value of A here? That is 2. So 2 power here P is equals to 5 into Again, q power q is equals to 2 power b, b is equals to 3. So, 2 cube whole by, here a is equals to, again a is equals to 2 and here a power q, q is equals to 2. So, 2 square into, now here q is equals to again 2. Next, q power a, a is equals to 2. Okay. After substitution the values, just to simplify this one. Now here we can observe that one of the law of exponent. What is that? The first law of exponent we discussed that is a power m into a power n. Okay. So this is in that form only no a power m into a power n which is equals to a power m plus n. A power m plus n by here this is also we can observe that in the form a power m into a power n. So apply the same uh, law of exponent here that is 2 power 2 plus 2. Okay. So from that one we are getting that is. Uh, so 2 power 5 plus 3 is 8 whole by 2 power 2 plus 2 is 4. Now this is in the form of a power m by a power n. Here we use that the law of exponent is a power m into a power n which is equals to a power m plus n. Okay. So here this is in the form of a power m by a power n where here m is greater than n. Why? Because here 8 is greater than 4 no. So that's why here the condition is m is greater than n. Now here the formula is a power m minus n. So, apply that condition here. So, 2 power 8 minus 4 which is equals to 2 power 4. Okay. So, 2 power 4 value is nothing but 16. 2 power 4 means 2 multiplied itself by 
4 times. So 2 into 2 is 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So option A is correct one here. So which option is correct? Yes, option A is correct. Okay, let us see that next question. So here, if A is equals to 3 by 2, B is equals to 1 by 3, P is equals to 9, Q is equals to 6. Okay, again we need to find the values of that one. Okay, so let us see that. So what is that given expression here? A power B into B power Q whole square into 2 power 18 by 2 power 18 by 3 power 6. Actually this value we need to find out no. So before that just we have to substitute the values what they given in that question. Okay so what values they given here? A is equals to 3 by 2. So at the place of A just write that 3 by 2 whole power. Here P is equals to they given that 9. Okay into B is equals to 1 by 3 whole power q, q is equals to 6 and whole power 2 whole square into 2 power 18 by 3 power 6. Is it clear? Now here, this is in the form of a into b. A power something is there, just leave that. But total this one consider it as a and this is b. So a into b whole square, we can write this one as a square into b square. Shall we write like that? Why? Because here I, a into b whole power m is equals to a power m into b power m. So by, a, by using this law of exponent, write this one as 3 by 2 whole power 9 and whole square. Okay, this square is belongs to that a and to b also no. So that's why whole square into 1 by 3 whole power 6 and it's a whole square. Is it clear to you? Now this is in the form of a b whole power m is equals to a power m into b power m. That form I written here into 2 power 18 by 3 power 6. So from this one here 3 by 2 whole power 9 whole square. So we can write this one as 3 by 2 whole power 9 to 18. Okay. Into 1 by 3 whole power 6 to 12 into 2 power 18 by 3 power 6 okay now here this is in the form of a by b whole power m a by b whole power m is equals to a power m by b power m so by using this law of exponent just write down this one as 3 power 18 by 2 power 18 okay so this 18 belongs to 3 as well as the 2 also no okay next come to the another one into 1 power 12 so again you will get it as 1 only no so no need to write its power so 1 by 3 power 12 okay into here 2 power 18 whole by 3 power 6 is it clear to you now any cancellations possible or not now observe that here denominator and numerator having the same same values so 2 power 18 and 2 power 18 gets cancelled okay now this one we can write it as 3 power 18 only there in its numerator and whole by denominator we are having that two values that is 3 power 12 into 3 power 6 so we can write this one as 3 power 18 by 3 power 12 plus 6. Why? Because again here this is in the form of a power m into a power n. So we have to write this one as a power m plus n formula we have to write. So this one as 3 power 18 whole by 3 power 12 plus 6. Again that is equals to 18. So both gets cancelled which is equals to 1. Okay. So what is that value here? Yes that is a value 1. Okay, we have to simplify this much. Finally, answer is very small one. That is, A is here. That value is equals to 1. That value is there in that option A. Okay, so which option is correct? Yes, that is option A. Okay, let us see that next one. So, this is, um, this is also given a lot. But uh, while you are observing this one very carefully, this is very, very easy one. So, just to say that first what they given, 5 into 10 to the power of 4. 
5 into 10 to the power of 4 or directly like this given means actually this is a standard form of a number no expanded form of a number okay so write this one as 5 into 10,000 is equals to 50,000 listen carefully 5 into 10,000 is equals to 50,000 6 into 1000 is equals to 6000 okay in between they given plus symbol no so i am writing like this next 4 into 100 is equals to 400 okay next 2 into 10 is equals to 20 and the next one is 6 they given okay let us add these all numbers you will get here this one 6 2 4 6 5 so this is that value here Next, we come to that second one. Actually, this totally one value plus. Here, what is that another one? 4 into 10 to the power of 4. 4 into 10 to the power of 4 means 4 into 10 to the power of 4 means 1000, sorry, 10,000, which is equals to 40,000. Okay. Next, 3 into 10 to the power of 3. 3 into 10 to the power of 3 means here 1 after 3 zeros. So, we will write this one as 3000. Okay. Next, 5 into 10 square which means 5 into 1 after 10 square means 1 after 2 zeros which is equals to 500. Okay. Next, here this is 5 into 10 square completed. Next, 7 into 10 to the power of 1 which is equals to 1 after only 1 zero that is 70. And here 4 into 10 to the power of 0. 4 into 10 to the power of 0 is nothing but 1 only, no? Anything power 0 is 1. So, which is equals to 4. So, add these all here. 4, 7, 5, 3, 4. Okay. So, this is that is second expression. So, while you are adding these two, here they are given that square, whole square. Okay, so first we need to add that these two values that is 56,426 and here 43,574. Now add these two numbers here 6 plus 4 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, next 6 plus 4 is 10, next 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay, so here this one we will write it as 10 to the power of 1 after how many zeros there? Just count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1 after 5 zeros there. So, we will write this one as 10 to the power of 5. But we are having here square, no? So, that's why 10 to the power of 5 whole square. So, which is equals to 10 to the power of 10. What is the answer here? 10 to the power of 10. So, which option is correct? Yes, option C is correct. So, children, by seeing that uh, problem, don't be get worry. Just uh, see that question properly and read that first. Understand that proper, which problem they are given, what they are asking. Okay, first we have to understand that. Okay, so after that, just to simplify it, just you know that additions, no? So, after addition, just they are given here, uh, whole square. So, here you have to apply that law of exponent, uh, a power m whole power n is equals to a power m n okay that exponent just we have to use okay so let us see that next question yes so here in scientific notation they are asking x we have to write in scientific notation they given the value of x here so what is that they given x is equals to 8 6 8 into 10 to the power of 15 and we know that while we are writing the number in a scientific notation the value must be less than 9 we have to take here the numerical value not about that exponential form i'm saying just which value we are having here numerical value that value must be less than lies in between one sorry lies in between a 0 and 9 no so 9 points also we can take in between that uh, just only single digits uh, which means 0 to 9 we have to take here not in between sorry for that so just we have to take the numbers from 0 to 9 only so that's why here we have to write it as 8.68 we have to write this 8.68 so 8.68 how we can write this so into 10 square yes or no only this number I am writing like this. Why? Because 8.68 means 
868 by 100 and here I taken that 10 square no so 10 square means 100 so 100 100 gets cancelled again you are getting the same number now here okay that's why I written this one as 8.68 into 10 square now here which value they given that value we have to write that is 10 to the power of 15 okay now here this value is equals to 8.68 into 10 to the power of here we can observe that this is in the form of a power m into a power n so which is equals to a power m plus n okay so here which is equals to 10 square plus 15 okay so 8.68 into 10 to the power of 17 so this is the scientific value now what they are asking is x we have to show in that scientific notation so this is the scientific notation of that x okay so which option is correct 8.68 into 10 to the power of 17 yes option d is correct one did you understand this one while you are keeping that points point after how many decimal places are there okay those many here for example here point after three decimal places there just we have to multiply that number with 10 cube okay for example here point after four digits there four decimal places there then you have to multiply that number with 10 to the power of 4 okay then only you will get that cancellations after again which number they given that number we will get okay so here option D is correct one so let us see that next question question number 5 so here this question also like that only they given so what is that here p is equals to 1.639 into 10 to the power of 8. Then we need to find that p into 10 to the power of 95 value we need to find out. Okay. So while you are observing that options, in that options they given that numbers directly, they didn't give in that scientific form. Okay. Points they didn't give no. Okay, so that's why here 1639, 1639, here also 1639, 1639, there is no point here, but here we are having that decimal values. So first convert this decimal values numbers into that numerical values. Okay, so um, we have to convert that one into that integers. So this one, how we can write 1639 whole by point after how many digits there? Three digits there. So 1 after we have to write 3 digits into 10 to the power of 8. So we can write this one as 1639 whole by 10 cube. Whole by 10 cube into 10 to the power of 8. Okay. Now we can write this one as this 10 cube here also we can write no. So 1639 into 10 to the power of 8 by 10 cube. Shall we write like this? Okay. Now from this one. 1639 into 10 to the power of 8 minus 3. Why? Because here this is in the form of a power m by a power n, which is equals to a power m minus n form it is. So that's why I written like this. Okay. So which is equals to 1639 into 10 to the power of 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay. So that is the 10 to the power of 5. Now which value we need to find out? Actually, this is the value of P, no? So, P is equals to, we got it, 1639 into 10 to the power of 5. Okay, now which value we need to find out? Yes, this one only. So, P into 10 to the power of 95 value we need to find out. So, here substitute that P value. So, 1639 into 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 95. This totally the value of P only. So, P into 10 to the power of 95. Now, this is 1639 into 10 to the power of. Here, we can observe that that is in the form of A power M into A power N. So, its exponent is A power M plus N. Its exponent become as M plus N. So, here 10 to the power of 5 plus 95 which is equals to 1639 into 10 to the power of 100 into 10 to the power of 100. So, which option is correct here? Yes, option C is correct. 1639 into 10 to the power of 100. 
okay so which option is correct option c is correct so children in this video we discuss the problems from 1 to 5 so in that next video again we will meet with the problems from 6 to 10 okay